What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light. There's a guy getting attacked over there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's just reboot the substation. His problems are his problems. I see no way in which this has become my issue. The power substation is over here. What was that? Did you see that? It pinged something on the map right here. That was odd. What did it ping? There was like a little shockwave on the map. Anyways, welcome back to Dying Light. Happy to have you here today as we continue to explore the lovely but terrifying world of Haran. I think what we'll go for right now is the substation. As I said in the previous episode, our goal right now is basically to zigzag in between all of these objectives and try and get them all in this one episode. That's what I'm shooting for anyways. Why do we have to- Oh, the substation! That was for- what's his name? Alfie. That's what we needed to do. I don't know how I forget about these sometimes, but I do. Let me get rid of this cat. Although I feel like calling him that is an insult to all cats who are far more fluffy and cute than him. Put him in the substation. Just find the control panel and turn the switch on. That'll reboot the system. Better stop with those shenanigans, amigo. That's the kind of stuff I simply cannot abide by. Let's see, we need this right here. Substation, bim bam bomb, buzz. Done. There it is. Good. Now you've got to do the same thing in the second substation. The electric cutter. I like that. I like how they blended the two words together. It makes it have a little bit more panache. What I'm going to do for right now is dismantle all these random terrible items that I have. Can I dismantle the flares? Is that a thing that I can do? No, I can only drop them. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see. What kind of mods do we have right now? Titan. We have Knight. Okay, so we got some stuff that will be useful. I'd rather stay away so that gives it more handling. Alright. Got a couple things. Where's the second station? What's going on here? What do we have to look out for? That's the northern substation. That's the gardening book, and then that's the drugstore. So what we want to do for right now is let's hit the other substation. We'll try and get all these done. I bet we can do it. If we really hustle, it's only been two minutes right now into the episode. If we hustle, I think we can make this happen. The frame drop in this game always seems to happen right at dawn, and I'm not really sure why. I I get a frame drop, essentially. not when I, It's only when I'm recording, so I want it to be clear. The game runs fine on my hardware right now if I'm not recording. But if I'm recording, for whatever reason... Oh, great. Shitty McSpitty over here. Get out of here, shitty. Nobody likes you. Like shitty Bill. There we go. Off we go. I think I'll probably jump up onto... Well, it looks like I could make a little detour right here. So we might as well. Although detour sort of gives the impression that you are... I'm not sure I want to know. Is it inside the building right here? Oh, we got to investigate. I don't know what the white means, but the white tends to mean, from what I can tell, that it's like a random event, maybe, or something. I don't know. The blue and the white, what distinguishes them thus far, I'm not really sure. There's there's no real, like, legend for any of this stuff. There might be in the map. I can look real fast and see if we got it, but... Composite baseball bat and a little bit of coffee, okay. Check out what's going on in the flat. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is between the blue events with the little radar symbol and the white events. The white events seem to be like randomly generated quests or something. Shit, that was not what I wanted to happen. Band-Aid! We have so many medkits though, so who cares? We're fine. What's going on in- Will you stop falling? You're supposed to- you're supposed to be good at this. Come on, man. How do we get in? Everything's looking pretty barred up. The way has been barred, literally. I... Do we go through the roof, maybe? Is there a hatch up here? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Let me repair this thing before we go any further. Just in case it decides to break my heart and also break its body on our enemies. What's in here? It's kind of eerily quiet in here. Not sure how I feel about this. Oh, you can push that right there? Okay. I didn't even realize. Survivor Sense kicking through again. Alright. I don't know if you have to use Survivor Sense to activate some of these objects, because they don't appear to be interactable until you use Survivor Sense. Okay, that one is. But whatever it is, is in this room right here. Ooh, this is eerie. This is real eerie. Both in the sense that the quietness is making me nervous and eerie as in I don't like it when my ears can't hear anything. Makes me feel very, very unhappy. Let's try this then. Oh, it's directionality too. It's not even the survivor sense. You just have to look at it from a certain direction to get it open. Click that on and see what's up. Oh, something bad's gonna happen. Wait, what does it want me to do up in here? Hold on, let me try this one more time. 
What's interactable in here? Hey, open up in there. Who are you? Crane, from the tower. I heard a woman screaming. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's my wife. She's, a uh, she's giving birth. Oh, shit. Is there anything I can do? We need alcohol. To disinfect. Please, help us. Alcohol? Uh. Is this gonna be like the repeatable quest in Dead Island where you can just give them alcohol? Or do they need special yeah, alcohol? Got some alcohol. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna be a big help. But, uh... Is that all you could find? It's not really enough. I'd go out myself, but I can't leave my wife now. Let me see if I can find some more. I think it might be a repeatable, I don't know. I mean, I have, like, millions of alcohol because I sat around killing enemies with it for... Yeah, 57 alcohol, like, hey, seriously. Great. I found some more. Yeah! Great, because we're going through it like water. But... Ah. Oh, is that it? It's almost enough, but not quite. You must have a lot of germs in there. Well, with this terrible plague, everything has to be clean. Spotless. I can't risk my newborn getting infected. We must have more alcohol. The disease is actually transferred from a bite that causes... Well, that's what you get for trying to explain things to people. That's not a... That's a real uncomfortable position to be in, though. I can't imagine having to, like, have a child born in a place like this. Hey, I've got the alcohol. Everything okay in there? Oh, you got some more? Uh, yeah. Here. Cheers. Boy. Is that it? I could let it go, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, did he just get, like, shit? What's going on here? We need to investigate. I think he's drinking it. Pop that door open. Of course. Fantastic. You guys, you could at least be on beat. Come on now. You could do better than this. Like, you're all on different verses. If I'm going to get you all drunk, the best you could do is sing me a good song. I mean, I was kind of looking forward to it, but now it's so dissonant that I don't think I can handle it any longer. Definitely no, but I've had a feeling we we're getting rooked right there. Had a feeling. So there it is. Why is it called getting rooked? I assume it has something to do with chess, right? Is it hard to, like, win the game with a rook? Is that what it comes down to? If so, somebody beats you with a rook, it's like a big deal. You'd be like, damn it. I just lost with a rook. And that's where getting rooked comes from? I don't know. That or at some point in life was there a guy called a rook whose job was just to, like, cheat people. Not so sure. Not so sure. What's up next? We investigated the house. Ah, substation. Okay, let's make our little hops over to here. And I think if we can get this squared away, it's going to be a wonderful life for all of us. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that almost ended badly. Okay, I saved myself from a horrible, horrible gravity-related injury. There we go. We'll get up over here. And off we go. So maybe, where is this thing? I mean, I get sidetracked so easily in this game. That's the weirdest thing about free roaming games for me, is that's why I never finish anything, is because free roaming just gets me bogged down. What's happening over here? Oh, these cats need help. If I can assist while we're already here, may as well. Back up, buddy. Yep. There we go. What you guys got for me? Anything? A juggernaut mod. I think that one adds damage or something like that. I'm not sure, though. Let's go ahead and check out this power substation and see if there's anything we can work with here. Hopefully no ambush awaits us. Because you know how I feel about those morning bushes. Let's see here. They're not going to try the same trick twice, are they? Okay, good. I hate it when that happens. And then they get you, they actually get you twice, which makes you feel even worse. Game destroys your self-esteem. You're like, I thought so highly of myself right, until that two happened. Down, one to go. Alfie? Anybody? Anybody want to get back to me? One-sided conversation here, hmm? One side makes for very poor dice. Alright, whatever. Forget you, Alfie. I don't love you anymore. Let's see our last. We've got a drugstore. We've got the bazaar. And then we've got the... Where's the next substation? Oh, it's way down there in the south. I'm thinking we'll cut... Yeah, let's go to here. 
we'll cut kind of like southwest and then we'll zigzag down to the southeast and that's how we'll finish this episode off i'm really i'm challenging myself right now to see how quickly i can do this because i want to like complete stuff in the game have productive episodes and whatnot look at the maps in between and figure out the best ways that i can run these things so that we actually get the maximum amount of content faced while still doing all the side quests and everything else all right we're up and oh i got stuck right there parkour was a little bit weird keep climbing over because i don't feel like oh we got a splody over here that's obviously going to draw a couple friends to that location I'm going to stay out of the way, though. I'm going to try not to get bogged down. Is there anything useful in here while we're ducking through? These little medical clinics can be really, really useful sometimes. Yeah, there's the enemy outside right now that's trying to track us down. I was actually hoping this might be a coffee shop or something, but it doesn't look like it is. I'm going to jump over the door because we're stuck on it. God, screaming like that. It's got to be hard on the vocal cords. Whoa, what's going on over here? Wait, what? Oh, it's such a freebie. I was kicking. I was kicking. I call shenanigans. So much shenanigans. All right. For a mo oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. Well, let's throw that. Oh, he's throwing knives from the roof. Okay. Once they all gather up right there. Flambe to all of you. Geronimo, whatever it is you want to say, but you're all going to burn right here. No further survival for any of yous. Where are you going, huh? Talk to this guy real fast. Who are you? Ugh. Hold on. Here. There we go. Get into the spikes so that he'll go out of combat mode so I can talk to him. Wow, he's nailing him. Damn, son. You practice with those things? Vicious. Vicious. I think it's downstairs. Oh, this is the guy from the... Okay, I remember this dude. How many Molotovs do I have remaining? That's my big concern right now. These guys are they're gonna try and jump us. You're selling antizen? Who told you that? A little bird? Not just the same person who told me you've been cooking up garbage and putting it in fake vials. Garbage? My formula is fifty times better than that crap they drop in boxes. Not only does it keep you healthy, it gives you super strength. Incredible speed and laser eyes. I could burn you with one look if I wanted to. I'm shutting you down, Bento. Yeah. Yusuf said you tried to make trouble. Yeah, well, Yusuf was right. And you're fucking dead. Eh. I think I'd rather be right. Let me check this dude real fast. He shouldn't last long. Get myself bandadificated. What do you got for me? It looks like their weapons actually might... I don't know, level adjust? Hey, hold still for me, will you? What? It curves. That's weird. It just bounced off of his face. Ooh, I broke his head off. That's pretty sweet. All right. Fully acceptable. I'm taking you out right here, bud. Yeah, no skills involved. Just stand there and face tank it like a man. Your machete means nothing to me, noob. Feel free to be destroyed by my superior leveling skills. Ooh, that did not knock him back. A remarkably sturdy individual, actually. Very sturdy. All right, so it looks like we unlocked him. Crane. Yes. You can tell Brecken that counterfeit lab's out of business. Good work, Crane. That's a big relief. Are you all right? I'm fine, but Yusuf tipped him off that I was coming. I was afraid of that. Brecken was going to lock him up, but he'd already slipped out. Now, if he comes back, I'm going to have a word with him. Not if Bahir gets to him first. <laughs> if I was Bahir, I'd be kind of upset. Basically, you attempted to assassinate me to make money. Did that actually complete a level up? Are we good right there? No, we're not. We're actually right next to the edge with everything right now. A little bit of time in front of us. Let me grab some more gauze right here. I really don't need this stuff in all honesty. Oh, there's a note. Hello. Thank you, note. Well, I'll try and cover that in a bit because this is one of those high-speed episodes where I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done. Let's see, do I want to hit the airdrop? Nay, I don't think that I do. I will instead, let's get the gardening book, and then after that we'll get the last substation, I guess. And that'll be a lot of, like, we've done a ton of work in this episode. Like, seriously, stuff's getting done right now. And it makes me feel happy and accomplished, sprinting in between locations, rapid-firing quests. Enjoyable, thoroughly enjoyable. Never challenged myself to like speed run through something before as fast as I can. All right, go straight through and over there. That leaves us with a little. I'm a little bit gassed out though, so we may have to duck through here. Is there anything good in here? 
It's a hard lock. It's the hard lock. Life for me. Cannot pluralize, you see. Cause it's just me by myself. Gonna hit some zombies, yeah. Okay, so never mind. Let's go up here. That's not working out the way that I thought it would. Is his camera up top? The gardening book for Kalik. Okay. That seems like that would be a DJ's name. DJ Kalik. It just seems like it would be. I don't know. Sounds like to me anyways. Is there a hatch up here or what's going on? We just have this thing. All right. Well, open up the basket. Get a free cell phone. The basket of cell phone storage. And hopefully we'll have access to some of the other stuff in here that we need. This basket's lootable? Well, hell, never let it be said that I don't take a good thing if it's right there in front of me. A saw blade? Sure. Seems good. On this side. What are we looking for here? We needed a camera, as I recall. Although, wasn't that... No, that's not what I'm looking for right here. I'm at a different quest. Why, why do I keep saying camera? I'm looking for a gardening book. That's what it was. Alright, I knew I was collecting something. I just couldn't remember what it was. Grab that. Duct tape sounds good. Chemicals sound good as well. Use those a little bit later to make myself some hooch. Nah, I'm not gonna make hooch. We got plenty of, like, Jack Daniels or whatever it is they drink around here. It seems like Jack Daniels seems to be what the bottles are packaged in. It looks like it's that good old Husque. Oh, maybe not, actually. It doesn't look like Jack. Maybe I was remembering it improperly. Definitely doesn't look like Jack, though. Where's this thing at? Oh, there's On books. On a bookcase, he said. Put yourself a horse head mask, very. Have a look good over 40. Big butt bonanza. Nice. See, defeat a couch potatoes guy to vegetable guy. That's the one. <laughs> falafel diet. Mmm. That tasted falafel. Let's see here. We'll open this on up. I don't think I've ever had falafel. I should go do that. I like new experiences and new things. Enjoyable foods. Wet dream, the first romance novel for plumbers. Good God. <laughs> DVD player user manual. Big book of death metal. <laughs> Simple tricks to get the chicks. It rhymes, so it has to be true. Oh, look, there's a statue. Did I miss anything? Because these are kind of hilarious. I want to read more of them. I'm excited about what the next book is going to be. 1001 banana recipes. <laughs> banana recipes. I don't even know you could do that much with a banana. We should just go out through this door right here. Let me unlock it real fast, and then we'll go. I must have a serious... These got double. Look at that. They got double door locks. Double deadbolts. There we go. That's what those are called. Deadbolts. Well, where are we going now? Let's have a look. I think that... Wait, we got... Didn't we get the... Didn't we already get it? That's weird. How come it's still flagged in here? That's really odd. Wait, what? Find the gardening book for Kalik. We already did that, didn't we? Let me see here. We got... Incense herbs. Nope. Spare glasses. Nope. Oh, he needed glasses. Okay, so are the glasses in here too? Alright, well, apparently I missed something. So, maybe upstairs possibly? That's odd. That's really odd. Why is that still flagged? The gardening book for Kalik. Let me see here. We got the glasses. Brig reward for a big run. Oh, they're both for Kalik? Alright, so he needs his glasses too, I suppose. I don't know. We'll give it another look around. I don't know if I'm... I'm probably overlooking something right here. There we go. Alright, so we got the glasses. Is that it for this place? Alright, that's survivor sense right there. That thing is indispensable when you're looking for tiny random objects in the middle of nowhere. Alright, so finally, this is our last objective for the... We got... Oh, we got six minutes. I gotta hustle. Okay, we're gonna do this. We are not gonna fall down on the job. Okay, we're gonna fall down briefly on the job, but only right there. No further. Gotta go to this last substation, which I think is gonna be up top. Got a bunch of these right here. Yes, please. Toxic lichen. I would liken it to a plant. There it is. Alright, good. We got those, and then further down there. I don't think it's that far. I think we can make the run pretty easily, but was this the substation that we went to earlier when we were playing, where I was trying to find out if there's anything special up in there? I think it is. So that explains it. It's for a quest later on, but damn, were there a lot of zombies in here. Can we go over this razor? Oh, it hurts me. Okay, don't go over the razor wire. That's a bad plan. I was hoping the developers dropped the ball right there and just, like, didn't do it properly, but nope, they did their job. It actually injures you much in the same way you would expect razor wire to harm you, I suppose. 
Got a runner right there who seems to be aware of us. So I'm going to kick her. God, every single time I do that, and this guy's going to take advantage of the chaos to jump up on us and give us a nice little love tap. A little love bite. No, sir. Another one? Where did you go? Oh, shit. You guys are everywhere. Okay, so let me run away for a second till I get some stamina back because obviously that's not going to be manageable. All right. Vaulted over that. Yep, you guys get dealt with one by one. Stay down. Stay down. All right, now, where did all these guys come from? Like, there wasn't a loud noise, was there? Oh, my God. Okay, so there's another one right there that I got to watch out for. Let me see if I can get on top of the van and make this a little bit more simple because... Damn. We're having serious problems right now. Keep them up out of my business for a second. We'll have a better chance, I think. A lot of Zeds over there. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, so... Come on, Speedy. Get over here. Where you at? That's right. Take the bait. If you're having trouble with the Speedy guys, I'd suggest kicking them. It seems to be a pretty good strategy for the whole thing. Get out of the way right there. Where are my mollies at? Where's my mollies at? Yeah, Papa Molly. Oh, no. Apparently, they're little... So one thing I hate about that attack right there is it attaches them to you. And so basically, the second that they trigger it, they automatically grab you if they're within a certain range. And so there's nothing you can do to dodge that once the animation starts. It's one of those little annoyances I have thus far. All right, running through the flames to handle all these assholes. Going straight on in. You've got to find the main panel. It's in one of the buildings. Yeah, I don't think so. Ooh, that was awesome. I clipped his legs out from under him. That was the best. Handle your friends. How come... See, he wasn't attacking right there, even though I was... Yeah, burned to death, fool. Burned to death. You don't want any. All right. So I bet you anything, the door that was closed over here previously is now open. But what we're going to have to do before we go in there is we need to get better prepared. So let me make some firecrackers. All right. So firecrackers have been made. Note, it does not go well with soup. Could use some lockpicks as well. Additionally, even worse with cheese. Grab those right there. Okay, so five more molly. And eh, we'll go extra because I think we're going to need them. All right, so what I want to do right now, let's go ahead and put those out there somewhere. Start attracting some of these guys around. It looks like some of them are out of range. They can't be attracted by the sound. It means that they got to be inside of a certain range for this to work. Well, that's no bueno. All right, well, we'll do this the hard way then. Throw one right over to there, which does not appear to be affecting them because they're outside the range. Keep myself safe by putting down some fire over there, too. Yeah, it doesn't look like it affects them if you're outside of the range. Her, she needs to be dealt with, God. And that's barbed wire, so I can't go over the fence. Hmm. Flaming out this corridor may have caused me a serious problem. What I can do here is I can go up and over the top of them just like... Oh, that didn't work. It was supposed to, but it didn't. Eh. Yep, jumping over the flames right there. Okay, so there's our gate. I was hoping we could go around this big group, but doesn't look like that plan is going to come to fruition. Oh my god, there's so many. Let's stick to parkour then. Oh, our weapon's broken. That explains a lot too. Will often not decrease your durability charges. I think the game was lying because it's definitely decreasing my durability charges. All right, so we have unspent skill points. I'll get to them in just a second. Not available during the day? Why? Huh. Does it kill all of them? So why was it not... Was I not paying attention properly? Why can I not do this during the day? Hold on. We need voltage. The master panel and respect... Okay, so I must have not been paying attention then. We gotta wait till nightfall. What time is it right now? It is 12.30. That's unfortunate. We've got further agility. I'm gonna go with... Vault stun, leg breaker, drop... Yeah, more damage from the drop kick. Hell yeah. Okay, well that leaves me with a decent opportunity over here to maybe see what I can accomplish with our undead friends in terms of XP gain, so let's lag the whole game out by killing as many as possible for right now. We could use the XP anyways. Watch that bar creep on upwards. This might be... I think that explosive sound you're hearing... I don't know what's going on right now, but it's not looking good for us. Huh. Well, we got a bunch of XP. That's good. I like XP. 
Can I maybe like bomb that over like that? Okay, a little bit deep. A little bit deep. Let's go for that right there and see if that does it. No, a little bit further. So right there maybe. I'm trying to do like Molotov mortar fire right now. Oh my god. Alright, well we're not going to get this done right now. It's the unfortunate side effect of this whole thing. What I'll try and do is we'll try and get it done in the next episode, I guess. I'm a little bit disappointed with the results at the moment, but can't really be helped from where we are at. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for growing me here. Joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light. The lag is super real right now. I'll see y'all later. Hi to everybody, and I'm going to try and clear this place out. I may come back with a couple more levels. Bye!